Hi, everybody. We're back to offer recommendations for books, movies, music, and more that you can check out from the Carmel Clay Public Library. I'm Catherine, and I'm joined by Susan over at the library's West Branch. And this month, we have two nonfiction books for you. So, Susan, what have you been reading? Well, I'm really excited to talk to you about the book, The Wager. It, there is ship, a shipwreck, murder, mutiny, anarchy, and an absolute mayhem. You get all this and more in David Grant's retelling of the true story of the last voyage of the Wager. The Wager, a vessel in His Majesty's Navy, set sail in 1740 on a secret mission during the war with Spain. The Wager's secret mission required the boat to navigate the treacherous Cape Horn. While the sailors thought they were headed into that passage at the safest time of year, they were indeed doing the exact opposite. The boat suffered several setbacks, not the least of which was disease, scurvy, starvation, and horrific storms and seas. If that was not enough, the helpless vessel finally wrecked on a small island in the Patagonias off the coast of Chile. The survivors of the wreck attempted to rescue as much as possible from the hapless vessel, but even with that, they had greater challenges ahead. Eventually, two separate groups escaped from Wager Island, and yes, it is still called that, and their stories were not in agreement. Their disparate accounts were played out in the press. Some things do not change. The Admiralty was left with the unenviable task of trying to determine who was telling the truth and which account to believe. Gran has done a masterful job of capturing the entire episode, which spans several years, countries, and continents. The sailors were faced with so many challenges, it's stunning. I came away thinking two things. Number one, I would never have wanted to be on the crew of any kind of sailing vessel at the time. And number two, if this book had been fiction, I would have thought the author had overdone it. The book, The Wager by David Grant is available at the library in print, ebook and downloadable audiobook. What about you, Catherine? Well, the book that I just finished was actually recommended to me by a library patron. So it was kind of reverse recommendations. Usually patrons come to the librarians for good picks, but this one was suggested by a patron and I picked it up and I'm so glad I did. Um, Papyrus, The Invention of Books in the Ancient World by Irene Vallejo. This came out last fall. And Papyrus is an exploration of how books and libraries developed in the ancient world. So it traces the influence of oral traditions and uh, how it impacted uh, written narratives. And it changes in format from the papyrus scrolls to tablets and codices back to Android and iPhone tablets. Um, it talks about how the history of books is so closely intertwined with the development of Western civilization. It's a scholarly book, but it is approachable. Um, it's a love letter to literature and to libraries. So if you are a bibliophile or a lover of ancient history, you will definitely want to check out Papyrus, the invention of books in the ancient world. And don't forget that it's not too late to sign up for our 2023 All Together Now Summer Reading Program. You can find out more information and log your reading progress by visiting us on the web at carmelclaylibrary.org. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next month.